Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to finally talk the Professional Women's Hockey League. First season, I will admit, I got into the game a little late. I got into the game a little late, but hey, you know, same thing with the NHL. I got into the game a little bit late, and yet I was treated like a lot of us were treated with a absolutely fantastic finals matchup in which Minnesota defeated Boston in five games. Taylor Heiss, I'm pretty sure, uh, again, I, I get names wrong all the time, so if I mispronounce a name, it's all right. She was the MVP of the playoffs. The series went five grueling games. I mean, I've watched all of them. You know, some were more bits and pieces than others, but I did watch every single game of these playoffs and or rather of these Walter Cup finals. Um, let me tell you, I, I was very impressed with the play by both these teams. Um, you know, Minnesota had to rally in order to beat Toronto in their semifinal and Montreal didn't even win against Boston. You know, Boston had to go to overtime all three games against Montreal, but it happened. But the, but these finals, man, beautiful. 4-3 in game one, 3-0 Minnesota in game two, 4-1 Minnesota in game number three. Game four, absolute barn burner that went to double overtime and Boston was able to tie the series up. But ultimately, this last game in which, you know, Boston had like less than 20 shots on goal, um, Minnesota had like f nearly close to 50. And, I mean, a 3-0 romp, and thus Minnesota, a Minnesota team is holding up a trophy. I'll tell you that much. A Minnesota team, a pro Minnesota team is holding up a trophy, a holding up a championship trophy. I'll say that. So, yeah, the, now the focus shifts to the PWHL draft on June the 10th in Minnesota. Um, just, just some beautiful stuff, you know. Uh, cannot wait for the 2024-2025 season, which I believe will start in November, if I'm not mistaken. And the teams will play 30 games for 2024-25. And, I mean, it's just going to be beautiful. going to be beautiful to watch. Of course, most games are on YouTube live and everything like that. So, you know, it's been at least one coaching change already. But that was before the season with Minnesota and Ken Klee, you know, got the nod and won Minnesota championship. So now, um, also the award ceremony that will also take place during the draft. Um, so yeah, so yeah, 2024, 2025 are going to be absolutely beautiful for the PWHL, for the NHL anyway, for the things, you know. Um, the Eastern and Western Conference Finals are both going to go six games at minimum. Both series are tied at 2-2. Two to two. Game 5 of Florida, New York is tonight in a couple of hours. Game 5 of Edmonton, Dallas will be tomorrow. And, you know, it's just going to be two series that are really, really fun. You know, again, the Rangers – with the guys they have, we've been over this already. Um, with the guys that Florida, you know, I mean, this is this is this is definitely you know very recognizable teams, you know, and names and stuff like that in these NHL playoffs for these final four. And again, we're gonna get a game six on Saturday night. We're gonna get a game six on Sunday night. So. I don't know if everything's going to be closed out by then, but, hey, we'll find out when we find out, you know? We will find out when we find out about, you know, when things wrap up because between, you know, between the Dallas side of things with, with hence J-Rob, Tyler Sagan, you know, I mean, just an absolute Jake Ottinger, 
Ed Gold, who's been absolutely astounding. You know, I know Jeff Skinner's been struggling a little bit for Edmonton, but it's all right. You know, you know, Leon Dreisaitl, you know, he's been kind of on and off. Conor McDavid kind of been on and off too. I mean, so there, there's there's some things going on in that Western Conference Finals. It's going to be thrilling. Much better than the NBA right now, I'll say that much. Uh, of course, the Rangers, you know, I mean, Tammy, mm-hmm. I mean, Rimpy, I mean, just just absolute. And, and you can't forget about the Florida side, Chuck Bennett. I mean, Berhage, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just a beautiful thing in motion that these two conference finals have delivered so far. I mean, the, the NHL playoffs themselves have absolutely delivered in all sorts of ways. I mean, some of these series were a bit more rough than others, like Dallas having to go seven, you know, like Dallas having to pretty much go, you know, the distance with Vegas. Um, Edmonton, you know, a tough one. Florida, and a tough, you know, and some tougher ones. You know, I mean, this the the way we got here to these final four teams, it is crazy. It's crazy, but hey, we made it. We made it. You know, can't say nothing else about it. I'm happy that these are the two finals to be got. You know, at least for the conference finals anyway. So yeah, that'll basically do it for me. Um, next time, you know, I'll come to you talking the Stanley Cup, you know, final and who wins that. I don't know how many games again, you know, Carolina, you know, kind of, kind of, kind of went bad on me. I know there's stuff going on in Carolina right now. I know there's some other stuff going on, you know, as well, but Hey, things are looking up. So until Later on, on Sunday, Sunday night before, you know, the whole, um, the uh, the game six between Edmonton and Dallas, I'll be back at you with this week at indoor football. So happy trails, happy summer. Hope you all are enjoying your summers off. If you are taking the summer off, my, my summer's about to begin. So cannot wait to start summer vacation. All right. I'll see y'all on Sunday.